What's up, everybody? This is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I received a uh, eBay package in the mail from the Great White North. Not Canadian Cards Mike, but another Canadian I got off of eBay. And this was a lot of cards uh, I got for $3, that's including shipping, uh, of AEW wrestlers now who were wrestling in the WWE at one point in time. So I thought it was a pretty cool deal. Lots of them are inserts. And I just, you know, it was, you know, it was like I said, a buck fifty, two bucks, a dollar fifty, whatever for shipping. It was a heck of a deal. So I'm just going to show you uh, the cards and maybe talk a little bit about it. We got Dean Ambrose, who is John Moxley. He started out in AEW. I'm sorry, in WWE as part of the Shield, I believe. He kind of went back and forth between a baby face and a heel. Now he's kind of like a. In AEW, he's really a Stone Cold Steve Austin in a lot of ways. He's a, a, a baby face, but like a, a butt-kicking, rebel-rousing baby face. And, you know, he's one of those, just kind of do, does whatever he wants to do and doesn't really care uh, what's going on, you know, with the world. He just kind of, you know, he just kind of beats to his own drum. And so that's kind of his uh, MO over on AEW, which I really like. Then here we have another one of uh, old Dean Ambrose. Right here again, John Moxley for If You're Dirty. So they got John Moxley. This is a cool one. Here we got John Moxley with Chris Jericho. So Jericho gets to keep his real, his uh, wrestling name, which is unusual because a lot of times uh, WWE takes their names away from them because they own them or control them or the rights behind the names or whatever. Um, but Jericho, he went in, a, he went into WWE from WCW as Chris Jericho. That's not his real name. Oh, well, maybe it's his real name now, but it wasn't his real name initially, but he got to keep his name. So here's an insert of them as rivals. That's pretty cool. Another Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley, which is a pretty cool there. And we got another another Dean Ambrose here again, aka John Moxley. The one of the one of the ones I'm super excited about since he's jumped over to AEW is Rusev, who goes by Miro, which Miro is his real name. It's like Miroslav, I believe, is his real name. I, he's from Bulgaria. You know, if I, if I if you would have came over looking like this, I know he had changed his look before he left WWE, but this. You know, long-haired, greasy-looking look. I just never like... I don't like this look on guys. I've never liked it. It's a common look you still get today. Here's another one. This is a, you know, on a base card, I think, kind of. I just never liked uh, that look on wrestlers. I've never enjoyed it. Any wrestler have, like, long, stringy hair. I just don't get it. I don't get that look. I'm just not a fan of that look. I just... It just looks scuzzy. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, here we have him in a mixed match. Rusev Day. Apparently he was fighting uh, uh, Elias and Bailey in this here. And here's a cool one I like. Uh, was he, he looks kind of like a monster here, which I like. This is his look essentially now with uh, over on AEW as Miro. This is pretty much his look. He has, like, some kind of weird shorts that he wears, which is awesome. It's like Gucci or Louis Vuitton shorts or whatever. He always talks about his outfits. But he, it's definitely like a European-looking shorts. I don't know what you call it. They're kind of baggy. They're still trunks, I guess, but they're kind of like trunk shorts. Or can you call them shrunks? Is that, is that a thing? Can you call it short trunks shrunks? <laughs> so, yeah. Then we have perfect a gold card for gold dust. So Dustin Rhodes uh, is Gold Dust. So here's a card from him, and he uh, he's a brother of du uh, Cody Rhodes. This is Dustin Rhodes, who's part of the uh, kind of like management team, also a part-time wrestler over on AEW. Here's the base card of that one of getting of Gold Dust. So there you go. Then we have the legend that is Sting. So we have Sting here. Again, he had his name prior to WWE. I guess they didn't have the rights, so he got to keep using Sting, which is great. He now is over at AEW, and he's been he's been mixing it up a bit recently. He 
end up getting his butt kicked by uh, Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page last week on Dynamite, which, again, him t- he's taking some serious bumps. I mean, he's 65, I believe, or something like that. So he's not he's not a spring chicken, but he had that cinematic match a couple of weeks ago, a month, month and a half ago, I guess now, which I thought he did a great job in. Um, here we got a legend car right there, the icon. Um, and then, you know, he hadn't been taking any real bumps since then. And then yet last weekend, they surprised them and slapped on a figure four leg lock on him, throwing him around and a couple of kicks to the head, I believe. And I mean, of course, again, we're, you know, it's, you know, it's all, all done with smoke and mirrors, but he's in there mixing it up. And we got another legends card. I'm sorry, not legends, but I think this is a short print or, um, I'm not for sure how these are categorized with the tops cards. And then we have that same card, but a copper. I believe this is called copper. So, guys, there's the cards. It's, uh, you know, 12, 20, something like that. I don't know, 20 cards stack. Hope you all enjoyed the video. I think I want to kind of do a little bit more of an in-depth in, in video talking about some of their AEW guys and some of their, like, you know, current runs, some of their gimmicks, some of their storylines, and just, you know, get that conversation going. And I don't know how much interest there would be out for that, but... I just don't see a lot of guys talk about AEW, honestly. It's kind of surprising, considering they have a much better product than WWE. But that's I'll save that for another time. So until next time, guys, peace.